Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I am back with a whole bunch of uh, Valentine's sort of looks, or actually I'm doing a whole series on Valentine's Day looks and playing with burgundies and purples and pinks and um, actually with this look, a couple of corals. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. As far as what I have on for my base today, I did go ahead and use the Sheer Envy Glow Serum by Hard Candy. And I did go ahead and use some of the Glow Oil by Supergoop. This one has the SPF of 50. So these are what I have on as my base today. As far as foundation, I use the L'Oreal True Match in C1, which is a cool one. And uh, the Wet n Wild uh, Incognito Concealer. This one is definitely one of the lightest shades, and I just can't read that on the bottom to tell you exactly what shade it is. But it's a Wet n Wild Incognito uh, Concealer, and that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I did for blush, I actually mixed a couple of uh, blushes together. To go ahead and pick up the e.l.f. Uh, these are their liquid blushes, new releases. This one's in mauve. And yeah, camo liquid blush. And so this one's in the mauve color, and that's what I have on there. I did go ahead and put a little bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow in Berry Radiant on. I mixed a whole bunch of things today. Uh, the color pop, and this one is in Out of Quartz. So I put a little bit of this in there as well. And a little bit of the Wet n Wild Curiouser and Curiouser, which is a highlighter um, palette. And um, so I have a little bit of this on as well. So uh, yeah, there are four different products on the cheeks, including a bronzer. And so the bronzer I used was MAC uh, Light Radiant and uh, Light Radiant Rosy Bronzer. So that's what I have on there. As far as the usual suspects, I do have the Sky High Mascara and Primer on. And this one's by Maybelline. This is a pack you can, <clears throat> pardon me, go ahead and get over at Walmart. <clears throat> And also the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde as well. And that's what I have on the brows. As far as what I went ahead and used on the eyes today, um, I did go ahead and get the Chucky palette um, from Glam Light. And it's a new purchase for me. It's been out for about a year. But um, as far as... Uh, Valentine's Day. I mean, I like the colors. I love the colors here. Um, the candy, the flowers, the little kids giving each other Valentine's. That's really cute. And that's about as far as I can take that particular holiday. After that, it just kind of goes mushy and yeah, not my holiday. Um, well, I mean, I appreciate parts of it, is what I'm trying to say. So as far as what I went ahead and did for the eye look, went ahead and took this one in the crease, and then this one on the outer corner. So today is, um, yeah, definitely use more of the red shades from this palette instead of the darker purple ones. So this uh, palette does have some of the... Um, some reds, a couple bronzes, um, burgundies, purples, a couple of different uh, gray and black shades. And so, yeah, what I've been trying to do with this palette is to go ahead and mix it with, um, and it's a Crazy in Love palette, to go ahead and mix it with some of my other shimmers to go ahead and get the looks that I want because I knew that I wanted to get this palette just to work with the darker colors in the palette. I mean, that's basically what it is. But for me, all of these darker colors are going to be on the outside of the lid or darkening up shades. And so um, I did want to get this one to go ahead and mix it with some of my shimmers because a lot of times I feel that 
palettes don't have enough contrast. They don't have enough really dark shades and really light shades. So I like to be able to mix palettes to go ahead and get that. And um, this Chucky palette just, yeah, it can really freak you out. Um, when I laid it down on the counter just then, instead of having four eyes looking at me, I had eight eight eyes looking at me because it's holographic. Yeah, that was a little bit scary there for a second. Uh, what I did go ahead and mix it with was Garden Lights, and this one's by Flower Beauty. And this one is a palette that definitely isn't as scary as the other palette. Uh, this is new to me. It just came out in the fall. And so I did go ahead and use this particular duochrome, which has uh, pink and gold in it. And I used that on the lid. Um, I did use this one as a uh, brow. So the gold over in the corner I used as my, um, yeah, right under the brow. And let's see. Oh, I went ahead and used this pink, and I used it from here up to here. Um, as far as, yeah, the eye look, I didn't use any eyeliner or, or anything. But I thought it would be good to bring in um, a shimmer that had, it definitely has some pink, and I think I'm seeing some peach in here as well as gold. And so I really wanted something that would be really light and really a contrast to those darker colors from the Czech palette. And I think this kind of went where I wanted it to go. The whole look kind of went really into a juicy kind of look. And I think maybe I want to go ahead and add some of this Baby Tint by Relove Revolution. This one's in Fuchsia. And let's see, maybe... Okay. Because everything just went into that kind of wet look where it's um, really, excuse me for a second there, where it's really juicy and <clears throat> it just has, um, it, it, it's a wet look and it doesn't have as much opacity and the eyeshadows, <clears throat> excuse me again, the eyeshadows have a really wet look to them and so did the lip. So by adding this in and it has more of an opaque kind of look, I think it adds a little bit more to the lip and gives it at least a little bit of opacity here and not that a sheer wet look isn't fine or fun but you know wearing during the day it it won't last too long where um, going ahead and bringing in some opacity probably will last a little bit longer so as far as what I have on the lips uh, right now this baby tint from Relove Revolution and the hard candy in the shade my type um, and we can go ahead and let's add a little bit of the elf lip oil as well and this one being so red yeah it's definitely a darker lip now so I like a lot better and it definitely isn't as sure as it was. So, yeah, liking going ahead and mixing all three of these together. And as you can see, today I'm playing. I'm just trying to find out how to work with my new red maroon very dark palette and what to mix it with. And so today's play day. But I'm kind of liking the way that it worked out. Um... I was wondering maybe to go ahead and put a purple line, liner on here. I don't, well, maybe a burgundy one. Yeah, this is from, this is a ColourPop one, and it's actually, uh, was part of their 
holiday pack and yeah it's coming off as a burgundy and sometimes getting too much of a burgundy pink look can kind of make you look like you're ill so hopefully this won't do that but again, today is definitely playing with the makeup and seeing what, what looks good. So here's another way. Yeah, I'm liking the look. I think I would have liked it if the duochrome had had a little bit more punch to it. Um, but I think that it, it's definitely a really pretty look to it. I just, it, it really blended together and I expected the gold on the lid to pop a little bit more and it just kind of didn't do that. Um, I don't know, I guess we could try a different one. Let's see, maybe if adding a little bit of this in. Kind of brighten up the little little bit actually I'm really in the crease at this point so hmm. okay yeah that made it pop a little bit more so um, again playing with Valentine's Day looks and the burgundies the pinks the peaches all added together and I guess when, if you break um, makeup down into seasons, which a lot of people like to do, winter, spring, summer, fall kind of thing, then the burgundies and the deeper colors sort of go with winter. I actually, I really like doing pastels in winter as well. But um, yeah, the deeper, darker colors kind of go with it at least if you do your makeup seasonally and I find myself kind of falling into that category more as the years go on but sometimes just having a pastel in there that really brightens everything up can be a really good way to cheer yourself up when the everything is kind of darker in the winter kind of thing so um but yeah, I think this look pretty much lends itself toward winter, toward Valentine's Day. And yeah, now that it's a little bit brighter, I think I'm liking it more. And uh, that's probably the end of the video. And I hope that you have a great day. So I'll see you later. Bye.